So just uh, take a take a look at this, right? What the actual fuck is wrong with you guys? He don't even stop to get gas If he could move through the rumors He could drive off of fumes Cause I ain't move in a room full of no's I stay faithful in a room full of hoes Dear internet, oh internet, some of you guys are just amazing. I mean, I, I swear to god, you guys are just the most amazing people, but most of y'all are fucking dumb. <sighs> Alright class, open your textbooks to page 355, chapter personal fuckups, because today we're gonna be talking about something absolutely horrible, and honestly, I, I'm really I'm really ashamed we have to talk about this today, but let's get straight into it, despite how pathetic it really is. Pathetic? <laughs> yes you are, Dino. Now please, get the hell out of my classroom. The first thing I want to say is this video isn't about Corpse Husband, it's about some of his brainlit fans. Mainly because they're just weird due to the over-sexualization level obsession over a nameless faceless guy on the internet. All because he has a deep voice when he can't even help it because it's a disease he has called GERD. It's just honestly sad the fact that they, they sexualize him that much when he, he can't help it in general and it's actually a disease, a problem that he can't fix. So uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just weird to me. But before we get on to ranting, I just wanted to bring up these stands are the types of people who genuinely get scared of getting killed in Among Us. I should have burned the internet a long fucking time ago. But hey, back to what I was saying, Corpse Husband has a disease called GERD, which unfortunately a majority of his fans decide to sexualize him despite it. It's just weird in general and I feel bad for him that his fan base acts like this. But some of his fans, they take shit to another level and I'm not talking fucking Super Mario levels, I'm talking fucking... I don't even know. We're talking sort of online levels. Like, we're talking level 100, but you can't even get to level 100, because if you die in the game, you die in real life shit. So, so, like I said, it's all just weird. I can't even comprehend or understand why they're like this. They're like fucking a pack of wolves that the fucking... Their mouths just start watering at the sound of his voice. The second they hear that shit, you need to call the fucking Wet and Wild employees, because goddamn, this is a whole different type of splash zone. This is a whole different level, and I'm not talking splash zone A. You know, I wasn't even planning on making this video at all in general, but I decided after seeing the actions you guys take all over Twitter, I might as well make the video. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, because apparently only a small percentage of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, it's free, and I hope you enjoy the video. Now, for those who don't know, Corpse Husband is a horror storytime YouTuber who recently has gotten popular because of his deep voice, Among Us gameplay, and a few songs of his. However, due to this, many of his fanbase have begun to simp over him and they need help, honestly. I don't understand why the fuck they're simping over him. Because he's never really given a public face reveal of some sort to his fans or... I'm not sure, it just doesn't add up, it's just kind of fucking weird. It's weird because he's never even given a public face reveal of anything to his fans, so I don't know how, you know, a hand veins, a strain of his hair, and a voice can make you more horny than Zoe Laverne after meeting your underage TikTok friend. But you do you, I guess. I guess I can't really stop you. I mean, liking somebody's videos is cool and all, and there's nothing really wrong with that. I mean, until you take it too far, then it's just fucking weird. I mean, we got bitches fucking tattooing his name on their chest and shit, so I mean, I, I can't really say anything, but you guys are weird. That's really all I can really say. I mean, really, I could go on for hours about the mental capacity some of you fans must hold, and it isn't very much considering a good 75% majority of you goldfish brain fucks think you're not being obsessive over him, and you're all just like obsessed fans, and it's just creepy as hell. And it isn't even the worst. Some of the people in the fan base have gone as far to get a fucking tattoo on themselves of a strand of his hair for a trend he called named fucking hashtag only strands. Or let alone a tattoo of his name on yourself. And if that isn't cringy already, then I don't really know what it is. I mean, it, it truly makes me wonder what their family thinks when they decide to get a tattoo for some precious internet clout. Because let's be real, why would anyone decide to get a tattoo like that? Besides the fact that everybody on the internet or anywhere else is going to think they're fucking stupid or completely obsessive over a online personality. Like, bitch, go outside. In my opinion, it clearly shows that they're obsessed with him or just weird in general when they get defensive when anyone brings up how it was not smart of them to do that. And the sad part, as much as most of them don't realize, it's a majority of these corpse stands who dedicate an entire account to him or get a tattoo of him, they primarily only like him for his voice instead of his personality. I mean, I doubt it's for his personality because in most of his videos, the majority throughout the video, he doesn't even talk because it's Among Us and you aren't even supposed to talk unless you're having a meeting in the game. So you really only like him for his voice from what I can see. I mean, no offense to Corpse because he's a tame and unproblematic guy, but his music is so unappealing to me that it sounds like I left my fork in the goddamn microwave. Or maybe that came straight from fucking Nuketown. And let's be real, a majority of the weird stands only like him just because his voice is deep. It's like dead ass as much as I hate K-pop, that shit slaps 10 times harder as hell compared to his radioactive rave music. And I'd rather listen to any of the K-pop groups 
proves that my life was on the line than his 1942 emo war speaker songs. But hey, who am I to judge, right? I'm just a guy on the internet like their idols, so what makes me even important? Now that being said, I'ma throw this shit over to Sensitive to give his opinion on this shit show. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, and, uh, peace, peace. If you thought you were pathetic, if you thought you were worthless, if you thought you were dumb, you haven't met a corpse husband, Stan. Like, these people have no brain. They have room temperature IQ. They most likely got dropped as a baby. They most likely had their head held way too close to a microwave growing up. Because these fans are extremely toxic, and they seriously need help. <laughs> like, these people need to be thrown into Arkham Asylum. Sorry, Mom. Add corpse husband. A big brain move, if you ask me. This almost got 43 thousand likes like how dumb must you be to do something like this is everything okay at home <laughs> this is horrible i would honestly put corpse husband stance on the same level as bts stands for being as toxic so when people say bts has the most toxic fan base alive they've obviously never heard of corpse husband if you say corpse is whack you could expect a whole bunch of 13 year old girls to be at your mansions bullying you harassing you and it's insane i don't have a problem with corpse husband i don't like his content there's better horror channels but i don't have any problem with him but it's his fans that make me and many other people not want to check out his content because his fans are extremely toxic if you don't agree with them if you don't agree that corpse husband is perfect you're wrong and your rights will be taken away <laughs> like these fans are crazy these girls need some love and support at home because they're obviously not getting so they have to go to twitter and get dumb tattoos because well my dad left me i don't like corpse husband and i don't like his fans his fans could honestly fuck right off honestly all corpse and dream stands do is really just talk about what their voice is like argue with people why they're better than you and dedicated accounts towards Corpse and Dream. And they have really no redeeming qualities whatsoever. I mean, I, I don't want to be like just straight off saying they have no redeeming qualities because that sounds mean, but it's really no redeeming qualities from their account. I mean, take it like this. Their online persona is really just dedicating it towards somebody else online. And that just sounds toxic in general. I mean, if you were to dedicate an account to PewDiePie, that would just sound weird. And if the only quality that's coming off of your account is supporting Corpse and Dream, but you automatically go and attack other people who have an opposing opinion, clearly something's wrong. And like I said, supporting somebody isn't wrong. I mean, it isn't wrong whatsoever. I personally think it's dumb that they choose to be toxic towards anyone who has an opposing opinion. It just goes to show that some of these stands are really just closed-minded. And I don't want to just be like, yo, you're closed-minded. But when you can't take another person's opinion, side, or take on something, it's like the second they become a corpse stand, or a corpse stand account, they automatically think they're on a different level above other people. And that's really the main reason I really wanted to make this video, because of how pathetic a good majority of corpse stands and dream stands are, and don't even get me started about the dream stands, because they can be just as bad, if not worse, when it comes to taking criticism or even just listening to somebody's side on something. It's terrible. They don't they don't care. They just want to keep getting their whole support. They they label it as support, but it's not really supporting somebody if you're just going around being toxic to other people in general. I just find it cringy that there's fan accounts of people sometimes because honestly, like there's, there's a fine line between being a fan and being obsessed with somebody, and that's pretty much what a lot of these Corpse fans are. Honestly, it'd be pretty funny if a bunch of Corpse fans just came and attacked this video. I mean, they're probably going to do that anyways, considering I'm disliking, you know, their their whole entire persona. But, you know, go, go at me. It'd be pretty funny. I have nothing better to do anyways. I'm, like, bored as hell. I don't even know how to finish this video. I'm literally ranting on just to get that 8 minutes and 30 seconds. God, this shit. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching this far into the video. I did not expect anyone to watch this far considering my views are dead more than my motivation to even make content but hey i forgot to mention how much the corpse stands are probably gonna kill me in the long run for even making this video so uh yeah if this video does well maybe i'll make another one but that being said hope you all have a good day make sure to like and subscribe so you can support this channel also if you haven't heard a majority of the corpse fan base is like i promise we're all damn fucked oh shit oh Crying, I'm stuck in the side and I still wanna help you, but I'm still beside him. When I see the rags in it, I step beside him. I've been drowning in the water, I'm beside him.